Hello Collective, this is Renee and welcome back if you're new. I haven't did a collective reading in quite a while so I figured I would do a collective reading for you. Let's see what's coming out in the cards. Let's see what's coming out for the collective. What you're not expecting. We have earth and ground. So you may, may need to ground yourself right now. We also have opportunity and change. So I feel like a lot of you are maybe going through changes. A lot of you are um, trying to find that balance, trying to find that purpose. You know, a lot of you may be also going through heartache or you're in that search for that one true love, you know? Um, let's take a look. Let's get some more energy for the collective, please. Spirit, give me an a energy for the collective. Change. Yeah, and we saw that in the cards. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So yeah, I feel like for the collective, there's a lot of change going on. There's a lot of growth that's happening right now for the collective. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Beautiful energy for the collective. Um, I'm really feeling that energy for you. Let's see, let's take, let's get another card for your energy. Another card for the collective's energy spirits. Another card. Okay. And we have Earth Magic. The card number one. This is an infinite number. Wow. Number one coming out here in a strong, strong position. And we also have Time Machine at the bottom. So more change. More change is coming through for you. So it's beautiful energy, Collective. Let's see, which tarot deck do I want to use? Hmm, I'll use this one. Okay. Okay. Spirit, can I have a message for the Collective? What does the collective need to know that they may not be seen? What is coming through for the collective that they need to hear right now? The Four of Cups. I feel like you're, you're definitely thinking. Uh, you may be thinking about someone or someone may be thinking about you. But I feel like there's a lot going on. You may feel like you missed an opportunity that was in front of you. Let's take a look at this energy some more. Yeah, you missed an opportunity and now you're moving on. You're moving into calmer waters, you know. She's moving to a new destination. She's moving from chaos and unstructured situations into more structure and more calmness. More, you know, being aligned with her purpose. And I feel like that's what's going on right now. I feel like there's a lot of change going on, definitely. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, two fives. So definitely, definitely change. Um, with the Five of Cups, I feel like you missed an opportunity and you're moving on. You, you feel very sad and disappointed that something hasn't come through for you. Um, but all she needs to do is to turn around and take notice of those two cups that are behind her. You know, um, 
but I feel like there is definitely something that you had to leave behind, something that you're moving away from, something that made you feel left in the cold. It made you feel left out, unwanted, unaccepted. Um, and I feel like you you may also may have the feel of lack maybe lack in your finances or lack in some other part of your life but i feel a a energy of kind of being left out let's take a look what is this energy spirit the five of wands another five we have three fives in this reading definitely change coming forward uh, with the five of wands we have a little bit of struggle going on we have some challenges that um, you may be dealing with. We also have some kind of competition. There's some kind of competition going on here. Um, that could be in love. That could be in business. Or your general energy. But look what we have. We have that change coming through. This is a new beginning. A new venture. You know... Um, a process of finding your innocence, finding that childlike behavior, you know, that um, puts you into that more playful, more, you know, uplifted mood. This is also new paths, uh, fresh hope, you know, and also taking chances. So I feel like, you know, whatever this opportunity is that you feel like you lost I feel like all is not lost you have a new beginning here and I feel like spirit is letting you know not to give up to keep pushing on keep pushing forward you need to persevere through this situation the battle's not over you know this uh, warrior is still in the fight they haven't backed down. They haven't surrendered. You know. And if you. If you persevere. Look what you have. You have the six of wands. Success. Success. Is coming through. And happiness. You have the four of wands on the bottom. So definitely happiness is coming. With this new beginning. With this new venture. Um. But I feel like you just need to persevere. You need to keep pushing through. Because struggles can't stop us. Obstacles can't stop us. We can't stop there. Especially when change is right around the corner. When you have this earth magic. You have magic within you. And I feel like it's just ready to burst forward. You just have to keep moving. Keep moving into your destination. You're actually moving in the right path because you have this new beginning. You also have the Six of Wands. So I feel like you have a lot of success that's coming through. Okay, let's get a few more cards to clarify. Let's get some cards to clarify this message. Spirit, give me a message for the collective. What does the collective need to know? The moon. There may be secrets that are unfolding. You know, you may be finding out certain messages, certain situations that are going to kind of make things more clear. Now, the moon can also be change. It can also be voluntary change that you initiate. So here we have another card of change. Another card of pushing forward, you know. Another card of trusting your intuition. Trusting the path that you're following. Um, because I believe that you are following the right path, collective. You are going in the right path direction you're going you're moving into your success you're moving forward definitely definitely i love this we have the empress 
so collective wow this is another card of intuition and following that creative nature it's also a card of abundance and manifestation the empress is able to manifest anything her heart desires because she has the ability she has the trust in herself and the universe to bring forth anything her heart desires you know she's very abundant um, she's also a good parent this is also very mothering energy so collective there may be a few of you this may not resonate with all but there may be a few of you that may be um, pregnant and not even realize it yet or some of you may already be pregnant and know but yes this is very fertile energy fertile for creation of all kinds so if you're in the ability of manifesting your manifestation chances are very very good at this time because she's bringing this manifestation down to earth you know she's being abundant she's also very beautiful very attractive the Empress is also, you know, the uh, counterpart of the Emperor. So, very powerful in nature. And, you know, with creation comes change. So many cards of change. Now, collective. Look at this. See? The Empress, she's very beautiful, she's very attractive, and she's attracting love. She's attracting that partnership, that companionship that she's urging for. This could also be you connecting with your higher self. But I'm really feeling like this is you connecting to love. You're connecting to a partner. If this partner is not already in your life, they are coming in very soon. Um, and I feel like they're coming in because they find you so appealing, so attractive. They want to kind of break the mystery, break the secrets that you're unfolding, that, that you know you're holding back to yourself. They want to solve those mysteries, solve those um, secrets, you know. Um, but yeah, new love is coming in. What else do we have? We have the Knight of Wands. And new love is coming in. This could be coming in pretty fast. This could also be very passionate. Very feisty. Very confident. Very self-assured. This, this also could be your energy collective. You could also be very confident. Very self-assured. Very... Uh, fiery you know you have that passion that free spirit it's also very fast energy so I feel like whatever is coming in collective is coming in very quickly you'll probably see results within the next couple days within the next couple weeks but it's very fast energy so whatever is in process is moving forward there's definitely movement there Okay, collective. Let's take a look. What else do we have? The Three of Wands. Yes. The, the Three of Wands is growth. It's expansion. It's moving forward. It's waiting for your ships to come in. You know, and I feel like he's gazing off into the horizon. Thinking about his future. Thinking about what is going to happen next and i feel like that's what you're doing collective you're planning your future you're waiting for your ships to come in you're waiting for your success and you're totally anticipating beautiful energy 
Beautiful energy. Let's take a look. What else do we have for the collective? What else do we have, spirits? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're looking for stability. You're looking for practicality. Um, she's also very reliable. So whoever's coming in, whoever this love interest is, this person is going to be very loyal, very reliable. This is someone that you're going to be able to lean on in times of need. Very supportive. Um, it's all. It also may be someone who is very resourceful. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, she knows how to um, take advantage of every resource at her fingertips, you know, and she knows how to use those resources to gain her financial freedom, to gain her wealth and her stability. The peacock represents her beauty, her ability to also manifest exactly to manifest wealth the peacock is a very um it's still a very expensive domestic bird so yes definitely you know, if you were to try to buy a peacock, you'd be spending thousands of dollars to try to buy a peacock. But you can actually do it, surprisingly. At the bottom of the deck, we have, look at this, the Wheel of Fortune. So definitely change coming through for you. Definitely a lot of change, a lot of beautiful events are unfolding. And I feel like you are going to be on top of the world when it comes to these situations. I feel like it's going to be very exhilarating. Now, if this is love, let's see. Let's take a look about this love interest. Spirit, tell me about this love interest. Who is this love interest? Who is this person coming forward for the collective? Who is this person coming forward? Mercury. So this could be a Gemini. Oh, let's see. Yeah, what did I say? A Gemini. It could be a Gemini coming forward for you. Very interesting. At the bottom we have Libra. So definitely, definitely probably an air sign coming forward for you. And air is the sign of communication, intelligence, you know, um, very thought-provoking sign. Um, and actually, Geminis are very adaptable. They adapt to change very well. Let's take a look. Let's get some oracle cards. We have the big picture thinking. Yeah, visionary, inspired ideas. So definitely more change coming through. Um, I've, there's so many cards here that's predicting a change for the collective. It's very interesting. And we have the golden children. Inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. So that's more about healing. About you know, feeling grounded about the spiritual gifts that you're giving by the universe. And it's very, very easy to say that, you know, with this success coming in, you may have some kind of gift that you're not expecting. We also have the Star Keeper, the Cosmic Ancestor, Seed, the light by staying grounded. Yes. Find your ground. Earth and grounded. So yeah, if you feel like you're not aligned, if you feel like you are a little out of balance, maybe do some meditation. Maybe do some chakra work so that you will feel aligned. Because I feel like the more aligned you are with your intentions, 
the more easier it will be to manifest whatever it is that you're creating. And you're creating some kind of success, some kind of big, big achievement that this is beautiful energy. Let's take a look. What does the collective need to know, spirits? There's something that needs to be let go. Definitely. And we saw that in the first row up here with the Five of Cups and the, the Five of Pentacles. And, you know, overthinking with the Four of uh, Cups. We saw that very clearly that something needs to be let go of. That way you can manifest this greatness into your life. Okay, and we have within the next few months, within the next few months, this change is going to be complete. Things are going to be totally different for you. You're going to see so many new changes, so many new outcomes. And I feel like you're going to see miraculous results, especially within the next few months. We have don't stop, persevere, keep going. Keep moving. You're so close to the finish line, collective. You're so close. You're so close to the finish line. And there may be helpful people that will surround you, that will help you and guide you through. If you have any if you need any guidance, ask your angels. Your angels are there to help. They're there to guide you through this situation. They're there to be your light, you know, in, in your dim moments. To help you keep aligned. To help you stay grounded. Your angels are there on your shoulder. They're there watching your back. They're with you at all times. So, yes, if you feel like you need guidance, if you feel like you need some kind of spiritual um, help, your angels are there to, to guide you. That could be the helpful people. Your angels, your angels are watching over you. We have destiny. So, some kind of destined moment is coming forward for you. You're pushing through for that destiny to come through. Um, I feel like something very big is coming for you, collective. In the comments below, write, I choose my destiny. And change is going in my favor. Yeah, perseverance. Another card. Do not give up, collective. Do not give up. Keep pushing forward. You are so close to your finish line. Okay, collective. This is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and sub subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Collective, I will see you next week for a new reading. And many blessings to you. Love and 